Hey everyone, this is Elsharona. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at the SS86 Springer. Um, this is the newest in the line. Um, pretty cool piece, one I've been looking forward to. Um, for me, Springer was one of the first of the new Transformers. Um, and I say new, um, you know, back, um, I had the, you know, back when G1 was like not G1, it was just Transformers. Um, I did own um, a few of the originals. My first Transformer ever was Jazz, and then went through a few from there, but when it came to the newer Transformers, Springer was actually the first um, from the movie I actually got as a kid. So I um, don't have that one, of course, anymore. But, um, you know, he always had a kind of special place in my heart, and I really was looking forward to this figure upon release just because i've always been a big springer fan you know for me um all the transformers i have now um the old ones i've gotten rid of because i really like the new engineering with the um, that you get now because i've always what i was wanting even as a kid was the transformers that look and move like the ones in the movie but of course were toys so now with this new line or this new develop, you know, we do have that ability. So, um, of course, I'm tearing that because I'm not going to keep the box. Um, but, you know, I'm just looking forward to all these new pieces coming out, and Springer is definitely one of them. Um, I think they've done a really good job of getting this guy to look movie accurate without a whole lot of fluff and un unnecessary stuff done. Um, a lot of people were kind of disappointed that they just reused the old mold, but I mean, the old mold wasn't bad in the improvement they made on the unit. Um, and just from seeing other people talk about it, it's definitely been a plus. I don't have the old ones because of course, I wasn't collecting really a War for Cybertron line and stuff like that. This is 86 is kind of where I jump back in. But, I mean, across the board, I mean, that head sculpt is dead on. You don't get much more anchor than that. I like the color. Um, he's got enough bulk where he looks, you know, like the Springer we all know and love. Um, yeah, I mean, just, you know, the joints feel really good. I mean, I know it's brand new. I mean, that elbow is a little looser. I know this, this, some of this mold is going to be complete reuse but you know new shoulder pads new chest piece little things like that here and there but across the board um i would definitely say this is a winner you know i really like the way it looks you know and just to kind of give you an idea you know, let me kind of punch in here a little bit um he does come with a hammer and of course this is from the Riker, so not movie accurate you know it is what it is um you've got his blaster, which that's really, really nice. Great detail, great sculpting. Um, you know, not a lot of paint, but I mean, you know, just really neat, you know, cartoon flat. You know, you've got his sword here, which was super neat. The fact that they actually did this simply from a blade, you know, because in the movie, you know, he turned his propeller into one. Or, yeah, I think then also, the, you know, movie did too. And you've got the propeller one here. Now it's just super neat. So do really like that overall look that they've done for it. So just great job across the board. Um, I forgot what's all in here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the I missed reloaded into shooting that Devastator and shooting the uh, Decepticon when they're breaking in the base. And you've got two separate little blasters. I'm sure that's from when he transformed. So, um, pretty neat. Um, looks like you can combine those. Yeah, that's right. You can do that whole little fusion thing. That's right. But yeah, pretty neat. No issues there. Um, I'm not going to transform this guy, honestly, because I mean, that, those are all over there. What I really want to kind of do is do a good job of 
kind of get them all sized up compared to some of the other ones here real quick. So let me go grab a couple other ones. All right, here he is next to the Zudios 86 Ultra Magnus. Kind of all the people complain about Magnus because then he's a little too big, but I mean, honestly, I'm okay with that. And you've got Hot Rod here. And then, of course, you got the part of the log triangle. You got Miss RC. I think he's, I think Springer's probably a bit too big compared to them, but I mean, I do like the bulk. Um, I think it's across the board, you know, he fits in really well. Let me back this out a bit. Um, fits in really well with the whole look of the team. And um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, that's really what I'm looking for for. A, a good accurate springer I'm gonna go right on the shelf look really nice and neat super cool no complaints um i'll probably put up some pics later on i just want to do a short one on here this guy up some pics that maybe i'm transformed but um you guys know i don't really transform my transformers you know um but uh again like i say if you're looking for a good fit and finish accuracy this is really more along the lines of what this should be you know unlike you know the I mean, this is how you do retooling and reusage, you know, um, as opposed to like Steel Jaw, which, you know, um, which is kind of a new sculpt and, you know, just a horrible job. I mean, even this RC, you know, they could have done a better job with her, but I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not a big deal. You know, you can take the backpack off if you want, not just leave it like it is. And she stands great. She's got great balance and I just need her to sit there and pose. So, um, you know, um, I'm looking forward to how this line is going to continue to expand later on. And hopefully it's super cool. You know, if it's not, you know, I guess we just won't buy it. Um, but, I mean, I, I think probably the biggest thing here for me is going to be, you know, you got a little bit of tolerance issues here. You can see there's a little bit of a crack there in the thigh where there's the seam is visible and there's light that can be shown through. Um, I mean, I, I definitely would say this mold is probably seen some usage i mean i think this is the third version of him i think on this on the same body so we're going to expect a little bit of that here and there but across the board i would definitely say i'm very happy with how this turned out and you know i got springer and we're good man but anyway thanks for checking it out you know uh comment down below if you guys have any questions um you know like and subscribe all that good stuff appreciate it have a good one. You guys have a good day. Thanks.